Our next topic is prime factorization and the goal here is to take a number and write it as a product of other numbers all of which are prime numbers and I'll show you a couple of different ways to do this and the first method is called making a factor tree and we'll start with this example 180 find the prime factorization of 180 well 180 is 90 times 2 so basically you take the number and you factor it and you draw these little branches and this is why it's called a factor tree because it branches like this and you put the factors down here and if any of these numbers can be factored factor them well 90 is 2 times 45 and 45 is 9 times 5 and 9 is 3 times 3 now when you're done, every number at the bottom, all the numbers at the ends of the branches, the 2, the 5, the 3, the 3, and this 2, those are all prime numbers. If they weren't prime, you could factor them and you would do that. You would factor them again if you could. The fact that you can't factor any further means those are all prime numbers. Now those numbers all multiplied together will give you the original number. So those numbers are the prime factorization. 2 times 3 times 3 times 5 times 2 is the prime factorization of 180. And you would typically write them in order. You could write 2 times 2 times 3 times 3 times 5. Or you could write 2 squared times 3 squared times 5. That's the prime factorization of 180. Now one nice thing about making a factor tree is it doesn't really matter how you start factoring. Watch, I'm going to do the same number here, 180. One thing that's pretty obvious is 180 is 18 times 10. So if we do that, 18 times 10, then we can factor these. 18 is 6 times 3, and 10 is 5 times 2, and the 6 is 2 times 3, and now all of these numbers at the ends are prime numbers. They can't be factored. And look what we have. A 2, a 3, another 3, a 5, and another 2. We have two 2s, two 3s, and a 5, just like we had over here. And there are other factor trees we could make for 180. But the point is they would all end up with this same prime factorization. Two 2s two threes and a five all multiply together and because the order doesn't matter when we multiply we say there is one answer to the problem this isn't two different answers that I've shown you here this is two different ways of arriving at the one answer that is the prime factorization of 180 and every composite number will have exactly one prime factorization again the goal is to get all of these numbers multiplied together to give you the original number and all of those numbers end up being prime numbers. Okay, now I'll show you a good approach to use if you want to be systematic about it. It's good to memorize the first several prime numbers and this isn't hard to do. You know that 2 is the first prime number and 3 and 5 is prime and 7 all of these all the prime numbers after 2 will be odd numbers. 9 is not prime because it can be factored, but 11 is prime and so is 13 and that's probably enough, 17, 19. But what we'll do, we'll do a prime factorization and we'll be starting with the number 2 and working our way down this list. And I'll show you uh, this approach or and I'll tell you my thought process out loud as I do it. The next example we're supposed to find the prime factorization of 60 and so I'm going to make branches on my little factor tree but I'm going to start with this first number in the list a 2. Is 60 divisible by 2? And it is. So it's 2 times what? 2 times 30. I'm on, I'm on the 2 right here. I'm on the 2. So now is 30 divisible by 2? It is. It's 2 times 15. Now is the 15 divisible by 2. It's not. So we go to the next prime number. 3. And we start working here. Is 15 divisible by 3? And it is. It's 3 times 5. And 5 is prime. So we're done. 
And then you have nice neatly arranged in order the prime numbers, 2 times 2 times 3 times 5. So that's the prime factorization of 60, 2 times 2 times 3 times 5. And of course you could write the 2 times 2 as 2 squared, 2 squared times 3 times 5. I'll do another example. Find the prime factorization of 90. Okay. Again, we're going to start with 2 and we work our way systematically down this list. Is 90 divisible by 2? It is. It's 2 times 45. Okay, is 45 divisible by 2? It's not. So we go to 3. Is 45 divisible by 3? It is. It's 3 times 15. Is 15 divisible by 3? It is. It's 3 times 5. 5 is prime. We stop when we get to a number all of, all of whose factors are prime. So this is it. 2 times 3 times 3 times 5. That's our answer. 2 times 3 times 3 times 5. And the 3 times 3 could be written as 3 squared. So 2 times 3 squared times 5. That's the prime factorization of 90.